Mike Perlock here to talk to entertain you with the help of oh, Genesis. There must be some misinterpretation. There must be some kind of mix up. I was waiting in the hail for hours. Ow, my taint! <laughs> Uh, anywho, I wanted to get one out uh, and talk. Uh, talk. I was re recalling something. I wanted to uh, make a video. Basically, uh, anybody still maybe uh, watched my stuff in the past and was is wondering about my father and everything. I don't know because I don't care. I, I, I'm done. Uh, I I, uh, <clears throat> I basically wanted to uh, tell a story to further emphasize why I need my father's absence in my life now. I was recollecting um, when we were growing up, and uh, um, we were listening. We were me and my sister were jamming to that uh, uh, Dave Matthews Band song. I did it. I did it. Do you think I caught you? Or I did it. Guilty and charge. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I told you, I did, I did it, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we were jamming to that song, and uh, <clears throat> my father, my my sister, all of a sudden blurts out, "Our dad did it with Doris, <laughs> his drug addict girlfriend. He wishes." <laughs> and I said, "Yeah, exactly." <laughs> <laughs> he did it with his drug addict girlfriend. He wishes in his dreams. <laughs> the reality was she already was doing it with Bob, John, and Larry. <laughs> and then when she was done doing that, she'd go and uh, come and practice to her. She'd steal my father's car because that's the only reason she associated with him. Anyways, so she, so she could go downtown and get her... um. Oh, uh, for the sake of this video, let's call it powdery goodness. <laughs> She'd steal my dad's car, a common occurrence, because he'd complain about it to, to other people, of course. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she'd uh, uh, steal his car so she, she can go downtown and get her powdery goodness. <laughs> anyway, so last summer when I was uh, still um, tolerating him in my life, um, when we get together on Saturdays, I made videos. Uh, that was when I would seize the opportunity to make videos with him. Um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, he told me that he told me that a priest or somebody he was talking to, someone associated with some church, told him that he quote beat the devil because he dedicated his his his. Uh, uh, he he not he never stopped uh, putting up with and con uh, pro professing his love for this uh, addict, this female addict. That uh, <laughs> and I just said it, just basically just use him so she had a car to go downtown. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I thought, you know, <laughs> this seems like a lot to go through. For one freaking human being? I mean, at least Jesus went through all what he went through for all of our benefits. <laughs> to, go, to, to dedicate your life uh, to one flawed human being? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I still get phone calls from strange numbers that I'm sure my father's giving people... <laughs> My, my phone number. I don't answer. I don't answer my phone. So <laughs> when it rings, if it's the, or some, the number, I don't. Nope. <clears throat> I don't need you in my life. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't. I don't answer it anyways. But uh, yeah, <laughs> a funny little thing Jim Carrey used to say comes to mind. Lehu zher. <laughs> this is why. Uh, yeah. This this goes to the heart of why I need this man's absence in my life now. I, I I don't get any ROI on I don't get any ROI I don't get any more ROI on dealing with him. I, I don't, 
I mean, if he gets established at a homeless facility or whatever, I'll go visit him once a year on his birthday. That's it. That's all I got. And you can argue, well, well, wait a minute. He contributed it to your existence. <laughs> you can make that argument. Yeah, I know. He told me the whole story in detail. <laughs> Apparently, according to him, I was conceived on his mother's bed. <laughs> <laughs> I told this story before on YouTube, but yeah, it, it makes sense though. Why, when I was like seven, eight years old, I, I felt at one and at peace, lying in Grandma's bed watching PBS. <laughs> Whether it be Mister Rogers, uh, Sesame Street, or some nature show about sharks or something, I just felt so so at peace and at one because this <laughs> this was the very spot I was conceived. <laughs> All right, now I got that off my chest. You know I can't make a video without going a little bit into politics. Well, Joe Biden <laughs> is the best the Democratic Party's got. And unfortunately, their best just ain't good enough. Yep, that debate, the world witnessed what, uh, what we conspiracy theorists were telling people for the last three years. <laughs> the world saw it with their own eyes. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, it, it's pretty much over. The, the, those delegates are, constitutionally speaking, those delegates are now legally bound to Joe Biden. And what little cognitive ability the, you know, the old guy has left, you know, he's using, I'm staying in, I'm the only one who can beat Trump, and I'm putting my foot down. Yeah, he sure is. Possibly for the last time in his life. <laughs> but uh, I had to laugh when they said, when they asked him, you know, um, what if Trump wins? What would he, what will he do if Trump wins? Well, I'll know. I, I know I did the goodest job I can do. <laughs> this is a direct quote from the leader of the free world, ladies and gentlemen. I did the goodest job I can do, and I'm laughing to myself because. I got scolded in grade school if I talk like that. <laughs> and this was going back a little bit, so there were still people, there are teachers that would school you for saying the word ain't <laughs> instead of is not or isn't. <laughs> but I'll just end this video then, uh, just going a little bit into uh, some of the more local things. I don't remember if I voted for Tammy Baldwin last time around or not. Not last time. I might have voted the time before. But, um, yeah, you as a voter, you have to be willfully ignorant to vote for, some, for, for someone sometimes. And that's not how voting should go. You know, I, I know I'm being willfully ignorant, but at least I'll feel better about my vote. What the hell is that? And there's, uh, I actually know people personally who, uh, who uh, don't like, who didn't uh, um, like Scott Walker. And I guess there is the argument that he was starting to get into some, uh, get involved in some questionable and corrupt stuff uh, towards the end of his term. And I, but I think, uh, uh, I, I'm sorry, what I know now, I'm thinking Tammy Bol Baldwin picked up the... Uh, <laughs> Picked up the, the ball, <laughs> if that is true. But, yeah, I, I won't be voting for her this time around. Uh, probably vote for that Eric something, uh, uh, eight, or, uh, something with an H. I, I'll know his name when I see it on the ballot. All right, Mike Parallax, thank you for your time.